All right, so here's a really cool feature in PowerPoint 2010, and I can see a lot of really neat uses for it. And that's the ability to add bookmarks to your media files so you can bring in some video or audio files. Add bookmarks to them, and then if you have animations or information that you want to have appear based on the audio or based on what you see on the video, you can actually trigger that to have the uh, animated object come in. So let's go ahead and test this out and see how it works. We're going to go to a PowerPoint file here, and what we have is a blank slide. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to insert a video. So I happen to have a video, with the default Windows video file. So we've got this, and I'm going to scale this down a little. So we've got the video here. And what we want to do is when we play the video, you're going to notice we're going to go from horses to these birds, and then we're going to go to some seals. So what we want to do is we want to add a bookmark. So when the birds appear, we want some information to come up, and then when the birds leave, we want that information to leave. So you can see how you could apply this in a number of ways uh, in your projects because you can have objects come and go uh, based on what people might be seeing or hearing in the multimedia. So first thing we want to do is let's add some text. So we're just going to add a text box and we're just going to say uh, these are ocean birds. And so this is a good way to add um, this could be a good way to add uh, closed captioning or some text uh, specific to scenes in the video. Now what we want to do is we want to have the uh, birds come in and then we want to have them go out. So we're going to click some animations here. So we're going to go to animation. And we're just going to have it fade in. Um, and then what we'll do is um, we'll add another animation and we'll have it fade out. And so it's going to come in and then it's going to go out. Now what we need to do is to add the bookmarks in the video. So let's go back to the video here. And on the video, we want to make sure that the video plays um, automatically here. Let's see here. I've got to click my video playback. We're going to make sure the video plays automatically. And um, then what we want to do is we'll add a bookmark here. So let's go ahead and play the video. And when the birds appear, okay, that's that's good enough. We could probably fine tune it. We'll add a bookmark and then let's click here. Uh, and then it looks like the birds disappear around here. So we're going to add another bookmark. So we've got bookmark one and bookmark two. Now, unfortunately, you can't click and drag the bookmarks, or at least I haven't figured out a way to do that. But we've got our two bookmarks here. And it would be nice if you can title them as well, because then I would know what they mean. Uh, but now we're going to go back to this animation, and we want to set some triggers. So we go to Animations, and what we want to do is we want to trigger it. So the first animation, which is the Fade In, we want to trigger that on Bookmark 1. And then on the second animation, uh, and for some reason it looks like this might be kind of a glitch, because, okay, and then on the second animation, uh, we want to trigger that on bookmark uh, two. So I see what happened. So when I set the animation, it changed the order because one was being triggered and one was going to work a different way. So now if we preview this, we should see uh, when the birds come, the animation, the text comes in, and then when the birds leave, the text should go out. And it's simple as that. So there are a lot of really neat things that you can do with these triggers. Let me stop this. A lot of neat things you can do with these triggers because you can have objects come in and out of the screen uh, based on the video. Um, same thing as if you insert audio. Uh, let's go ahead and look at that. So let's insert audio from a file. And I um, have one here. And so I'll, I'll have an audio file that I can bring in. And then the audio file will allow me to set triggers as well. And um, so we've got our audio here, and then when I go to playback, you can see I can set bookmarks uh, based on my audio file as well. So you can insert audio and set bookmarks, which is really nice. If people are hearing the audio, you can uh, coordinate your narration that way, or you can do it with your video. So pretty cool features, and it just takes a matter of figuring out what you want to do with them.